What are you doing, Reese? Aren't you supposed to be like Bro, finishing up the, the bikes? Is in my soul. We're gonna head back to the warehouse, get into part three of the CBR 1000 build. And we are back here at the warehouse, and it's time to start working on the CBR 1000 build. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what's going on inside of here because there's quite a bit of stuff going on. We got here in the front room Jeep parts for the 500 horsepower Jeep build. We got some bikes that are gonna be making their debut back on the channel here soon. Right there's the bike we're gonna be working on today. We got a bunch of stuff in the mail, but I wanna talk about one other thing before we get to working on that bike, and it is this right here. This right here is the 2014 CBR 1000 that I bought in Naples, and the guy, you know, ended up dying on the motorcycle. Pretty sad situation. And after pricing out what it's gonna cost me to repair this bike, and I have to get a new frame for it. I prefer to get a new frame with a clean title. I'm just gonna end up parting this bike out and putting all the parts on eBay. I do a little bit of a part out situation on the side. Right there's my little corner. You can get some really nice high quality photos and with like all white background. Pretty much like it end up, it would end up costing like $4,800 to like completely rebuild this motorcycle. And sometimes you just have to sit down and realize like for me to rebuild this bike, I have to tear it completely down to where I'd be parting it out anyways. I got to drop the motor, drop, pull everything off of it to swap the frame out. And that's so much work to the point where I'm like, I might as well just sell the parts because it has about, you know, $5,500 to $6,000 of good motorcycle parts on it. I already got a couple of things pulled off of it and listed. Uh, right over there, some more stuff that needs to get cleaned up and listed. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what's going on with this. It's kind of sad that I don't get to rebuild it, but sometimes, you know, you have to be financially smart about your time. And I also have quite a few other builds going on right now that I want to get done and I want to keep the channel more consistent to where builds are actually like getting completed in a timely manner other than a video popping up and then it just ends up like disappearing later down the road. But right here is the bike that we are going to be working on. It is a 2005 CBR 1000 that we're going to be putting the 06, 07 fairings on it. And we got a bunch of parts in the mail right here. So right there is my brand new radiator. The radiator that came with this bike ended up having a broken tab on it. So we got that. This is, I'm pretty sure an RK chain. It's the O-ring style. We got a tip over sensor. We got coil packs. And then right here is our tail light. And right here is something really important. This right here is a package from a subscriber. He messaged me on the Built From The Bomb Instagram account. Let's just put it right there. And he said that he had the axle nut that I need for this bike. And you can see right here, he sent it to me. His name is Michael, I really appreciate it. This means so much to me that someone that like is watching my videos is like going out of their way to the post, like, you know, putting this in an envelope and like mailing it to me. Like this means so much more than like just this right here. So thanks so much for sending this and let's get into working on this motorcycle. Let's see, does it fit? Oh yeah. The first thing we're gonna address on this bike is gonna be this front area right here. I wanna get it all kind of like put together. So we're gonna put the coil packs on the bike and then I got this right up here. It's the case breather, it's the PVC valve. So I ended up kind of putting this wiring harness on the wrong way. I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, but pretty much there's one big wire that comes up this way, and then you got two that split this way and this way, and I put the coil pack harness part on backwards. It actually plugs in on this side, and then we have to remove the intake grit to get these wires up here. So now I got kind of everything in place. I have to sand down this ground right here because when it got powder coated, this ground uh, got coated with it. I forgot to like point that out that that needs to not be coated. What I'm gonna do now is put this intake grit back on and then put the whole air box on top. Now I'm gonna probably go get some little zip ties, zip tie this all up together and get this whole area kind of looking clean because it's kind of an organized mess right now. So we gotta put this on right here, but I have to leave enough room 
so that I can get to these plugs right here because we still got two plugs that aren't plugged in. It's our ignition plug and then our steering stabilizer plug. So I got a new ignition set for this bike that I got to swap out out of this triple so I can have matching tank and rear keys. So we just gotta make sure this is like still able to get to before we put all this up on. So this looks like it's just held in right here and we just gotta bolt it down and we gotta put the top part on it. And then I think we can put the tank on it and still get to that right there. The air box is all dialed and also the injectors or the upper injectors are you know hooked up to this fuel rail right here. So now it's time to put the gas tank on. But I came over and started looking at the gas tank just to come over here and see that the fuel tank plug looks like this. And I'm definitely not going to put this on the bike looking like that. So we're going to cut this all apart, use some marine grade heat shrink, get it all together looking right and then get this gas tank on the bike. Mint. All right, to mount this on the bike, we have, James, you got your fuel line, which is a 17 millimeter bolt. Then you have a plug for your fuel pump uh, wiring. Then there's four bolts that actually hold the tank to the bike. And the rear two are 10 millimeter, and then the front two are five millimeter Allens. Get this puppy on here. kind of just put that on there for the looks of it right now I'm gonna to have to take it back off when I hook up the steering stabilizer and the ignition what we're gonna do now is move over to installing the headers on this bike I have the header sitting right over there it gets held in with eight 10 millimeter bolts up at the top and then there's one bolt down there at the bottom and that is a six millimeter Allen I got it right here Feeling really good about this build right now. It's starting to come together and looking pretty good. We got the headers on there. Everything went on really smooth. What I'm gonna do now is come over here and install the rear sets. We got that right there. And then this sensor actually goes a little bit of a different way than the other bikes that I've rebuilt. So this sensor wire comes up around here and then it plugs in up here. Mount it up. Now we're gonna move over here, open up our new radiator. Oh, this puppy looks nice. Might not be the right radiator. Let me make sure this is for this bike. Bro, like this 100% is not the right radiator. Well, this definitely isn't the right radiator. I thought it looked wrong when I opened up the box and it's not clearing that upper part right there. And then the way this is supposed to hook up just is making absolutely no sense. So I'll catch you guys later with part four of the CBR 1000 build. That's it for right now. Peace out.